We are in Leicester Square for the UK premiere of Peter Rabbit. It feels very, very nice. It's very nice too when it's a cold day and people turn out to say hi. But Beatrix Potter is like a British staple, so it's wonderful to be here. Bit of like an odd one, sort of running around doing my own thing. Talks a lot with maybe um, not thinking. Yeah, a lot. I think it's great. I took my friends and family to a screening and it was really funny and very moving and I'm very, very happy to be part of it. We're in Leicester Square and we're at the premiere of Peter Rabbit and uh, lots of people are here and it's great. We want to bring the film everywhere and, and let everybody see it and obviously it's set in England, uh, Beatrix Potter is a very English story and uh, so yeah it feels like it's kind of at home here. It was very physical and there was a lot of stuff with an imagined bunny rabbit that wasn't actually there. I was blown away by the animation, I mean it was more, it was more exquisite and beautiful and cute and ridiculous than I had uh, even hoped for and uh, the way it came together was absolutely just uh, beautiful. I think it makes kids laugh and all I wanted to do was be in something that would actually make kids laugh out loud and it, it seems like that's what we've done and, um, and that makes me really, really happy. I worked with Sony a couple of times before so um, Spring, who's the head of music there, thought I'd be a good fit with Will. So I met Will um, and he gave me a couple of scenes to do just to see if I was the right fit. And I did the 2D flashback at the beginning of the movie. And um, luckily he really liked it and then that was history really. This one is slightly trickier because I needed to fuse the traditional element of Peter Rabbit with the modern element of Peter Rabbit. So, and Will doesn't really use composers before. So there was that obstacle to overcome too. But I, so I started with the band, I started with a more song aspect of things and then I just slammed a massive orchestra on top of it and it seemed to work. It was more about getting what Will wanted and finding that sound that he, he, he said to me at the beginning of the process, I really want people to know this is Peter Rabbit when they hear the music. So that was the tricky part, finding that original sound of the action stuff. My mum used to read me the stories all the time. Oh, it was amazing. I mean, I, when, when Spring sent me the script, I just, it was one of those things that you just have to put out in the atmosphere and you, I just wanted it so badly. So it's great that I'm here now. It's awesome. The finished film. Uh, well, I was on really early, so I've seen it come from like little guys with blue hands and all the way to now. And it's just, it's so lovely. It's so cute and it's got a lovely message. It's hilarious. So it's, it's really awesome to be a part of it. I was very honoured actually, I think it's a really great privilege to be a part of material like this that's so beloved by so many people and I love Will as a director and I think he's a brilliant comedy director so I didn't even really think about it. My godmother who's English gave me my first Beatrix Potter collection when I was, I think my christening present maybe, so yeah. Mopsy's very bossy and she's the eldest of three siblings so that comes quite naturally to me. That's my pecking order too. I thought it was amazing. I think the film is really beautiful and I sort of am completely in awe of the animation. Yeah, I think they've done an amazing job. I've never seen anything like it, so. I just think it's such a beautiful film to bring your kids to because, I mean, the parents will obviously enjoy it because it's hilarious and a lot of the jokes go straight over the kids' heads, but um, it's just sort of like, it's just charming. I think it's charming and funny and the kids love it and it's, if I had children, I would be there in the snap. We're in Leicester Square, it is the, the UK premiere of the film Peter Rabbit. The birth of this whole character started in this country. I'm almost certain it didn't start in London, but it, it certainly started here. And it's, uh, you know, it's a, a wonderful thing for, for all of us involved to come to London and, and have a premiere here after it's sort of been doing so well in America. Well, I'm very method, so I'm like Daniel Day-Lewis. I, you know, I lived 
uh, on a carrot and lettuce based diet for 10 days. I slept only in a hutch the whole time we were recording the film. You know, I really, I really committed to the whole rabbit aspect. Well, I watched it with my son, so, you know, he's, they're the audience for the film, you know, and, and, and he just, uh, he loved it so much, and so that's, that's all I really care about is, is uh, do, do young people, do, do kids, do they, do they love it, you know? This movie is, could not get more British. I'm the only, only non-British part of this movie. So we're trying to do everything I can to uh, keep it in England. Oh yeah, I, my, my parents read me Beatrix Potter when I was a kid, all the Peter Rabbit books. I read them again to my kids. Ladies I love them so much. I continue to love them and I just hope that uh, people see this movie and continue to like them and, and read the books. Welcome. With a lot of difficulty and a lot of help from the Beatrix Potter estate uh, and a lot of help from everyone, all my British uh, actors and crew, uh, and uh, trying everything we desperately can to keep it and uh, honor uh, what Beatrix Potter did 100 and some, some odd years ago. I think it's the law on, on Mother's Day today, and then next week it's the I think they're passing a law in Parliament that you must go see it. I don't know if it's gone through yet, but I know they're discussing it. When you think about Peter Rabbit, he's one of the most universally loved characters in the world. You know, parents have had the stories read to them by their parents, they've read it to their kids. And everywhere you go, everyone knows Peter Rabbit. And for um, Animal Logic, the animation studio behind this, which has been behind many inventive films like Happy Feet and the Lego Movie, it was an amazing opportunity to bring a great character to life in a way that's never been done before. I loved her books, and everyone I ever talked to feels the same. Um, but so we were very, very careful to be to keep the integrity of her work intact in the way that we characterized Peter as a character, but also in the way we designed our characters and brought them to life in a, in a sort of 3D, tangible way. The um, designers at Animal Logic worked for a year to figure out how to adapt him into a 3D form, how to keep him true. We made uh, actual size blue jackets that we put onto mannequins to make sure that it maintained the integrity of the original design. But it is amazing CG mastery as well. Uh, Peter Rabbit is a very complicated movie to pull off. Will Gluck, the director, did an amazing job of marrying the live action and the animation, as did the animation crew behind it at Animal Logic. We were so blessed with the voice acting in this movie. There could not be a better Peter than James Corden. James is Peter. He's mischievous, he's lovable, he's, he's warm, he's friendly, he's funny, and that's Peter Rabbit. And so we couldn't think of a better actor for, for Peter, but equally, the triplets were awesome. To have Margot Robbie, Elizabeth Debicki, Daisy Ridley as the triplets was amazing. And I think little girls will be picking their favorite triplet and talking about that one of them for weeks to come. I was so pleased with the final result of this movie because it was a two year labor of love and before that many years in story development. So to see all of that come together, to see scenes come together where actors like Donald Gleeson were acting against a blue puppet on set, which then turns into a really believable Peter Rabbit in the movie. And to see it come to life in such a fun way with great music is just awesome.